coronavirus, what it does to the body. The coronavirus emerged in only December last year, but already the world is dealing with the pandemic of the virus and the disease it causes, COVID-19. This is when the virus is establishing itself. Viruses work by getting inside the cells your body is made of and then hijacking them. The coronavirus, officially called SARS-CoV-2, can invade your body when you breathe it in, after someone coughs nearby, or you touch a contaminated surface and then your face. It first infects the cells lining your throat, airways and lungs and turns them into coronavirus factories that spew out huge numbers of new viruses that go on to infect yet more cells. At this early stage, you will not be sick and some people may never develop symptoms. The incubation period, the time between infection and first symptoms appearing, varies widely, but is 5 days on average. COVID-19 is a mild infection for 8 out of 10 people who get it and the core symptoms are fever and a cough. Body aches, sore throat and a headache are all possible, but not guaranteed. The fever, and generally feeling grotty, is a result of your immune system responding to the infection. It has recognized the virus as a hostile invader and signals to the rest of the body something is wrong by releasing chemicals called cytokines. These rally the immune system, but also cause the body aches, pain and fever. The coronavirus cough is initially a dry one, you're not bringing stuff up, and this is probably down to irritation of cells as they become infected by the virus. Some people will eventually start coughing up sputum, a thick mucus containing dead lung cells killed by the virus. These symptoms are treated with bed rest plenty of fluids and peristemal. You won't need specialist hospital care. This stage lasts about a week, at which point most recover because their immune system has fought off the virus. However, some will develop a more serious form of COVID-19. This is the best we understand at the moment about this stage, however, there are studies emerging that suggest the disease can cause more cold-like symptoms such as a runny nose too. As of 15th of March, more than 156,000 people have been infected in more than 80 countries, according to the Johns Hopkins University Center for Systems Science and Engineering. There have been over 5,800 deaths globally. Just over 3,000 of those deaths have occurred in mainland China. More than 73,000 people have recovered from the coronavirus. Public health experts have been giving out lots of advice to try to stop the spread of the virus. The best thing is regular and thorough hand washing, preferably with soap and water. Coronavirus spreads when an infected person coughs small droplets, packed with the virus, into the air. These can be breathed in or cause an infection if you touch a surface they have landed on in your eyes, nose or mouth. So, coughing and sneezing into tissues, not touching your face with unwashed hands, and avoiding close contact with infected people are important for limiting the spread. Face masks do not provide effective protection, according to medical experts. Regularly and thoroughly clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water. Washing your hands with soap and water or using alcohol-based hand rub kills viruses that may be on your hands. Maintain at least 1 meter, 3 feet, distance between yourself and anyone who is coughing or sneezing. When someone coughs or sneezes they spray small liquid droplets from their nose or mouth which may contain virus. If you are too close, you can breathe in the droplets, including the COVID-19 virus if the person coughing has the disease. Hands touch many surfaces and can pick up viruses. Once contaminated, hands can transfer the virus to your eyes, nose or mouth. From there, the virus can enter your body and can make you sick. Stay home if you feel unwell. If you have a fever, cough and difficulty breathing, Seek medical attention and call in advance. Follow the directions of your local health authority.
national and local authorities will have the most up-to-date information on the situation in your area. Calling in advance will allow your health care provider to quickly direct you to the right health facility. This will also protect you and help prevent spread of viruses and other infections.